Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another round of Adorize You Plays Deadly Creatures. Today, in Chapter 8, we will be rejoining the Scorpion in Echoes. As you'll recall, the last time around, we were messing around in the underground when we found what appeared to be a very large box over our heads. Well, judging by exactly what happened in the previous part with the tarantula, I think you could probably guess what that box was and what it contained. Hello, Shovel. Oh, for crying out. Hey, look, man, about last time, I only want- Oh. Yeah, you hit me. Whoop, up it goes. Yeah, you killed it, you putz. Looks like we have to get out. There's something in the way here. Great. So now what do we do? Does it look like... Whoop! Hello! The blow from the shovel dislodged. Okay! Screw you too, Mr. Giant Lizard Man! Well, regardless... Hmm. How do we get out of here? I don't... Oh, wait a minute. There we go. I'm an idiot! How do we get out of here? Duh! Maybe the way directly in front of you, you chutz! I tried to say... You know, I have the strangest feeling that that's some sort of an obscure uh, insult that I don't know about chutz. I was gonna say putz, yutz, and chump at the same time. No, bad flies, bad flies. Well, there may be bugs on some of your bugs, but there's still some bugs on me. Now, hopefully. Yo, whack. And we're out! Now, if you'll recall, this is the same area that the tarantula was in last time around, but the scorpion doesn't have the advantage of being able to jump around and get through this part. Rather, he's going to have to clear out, the, clear out that, uh, brush instead. Is that? No. Looks like there aren't any, uh... Oh? Looks like there isn't anything to grab here. And there's the tarantula that we were playing as before. And there's a couple of rats! Just what we don't need. Ow! Well, screw you too! Ow! I said ow! Okay, you die. You die screaming, boy. Yeehaw! Get along, little ratty. Down you go. That hurt you a hell of a lot worse than it did me. I can assure you of that. So now that you're dead. Hmm. Ah, son of a. Can we get. Any grubs? Oh, here? Yes, we can. There's two grubs up here. Just what we needed. I want out! I want out! There we are. Oh, there's even more down there. Oh, I guess you can just run off the edge. And, yep, mine. Or mine. But I can't get off the uh, webbing anyway. Bleh, forget the others. So now that we are uh, out here, we're going to be taking the other path, the one that the score that the tarantula eschewed last part, in favor of clambering and climbing and climbing. Ugh! Get away from me! You ugly! You bugs! Wait a minute! All I need to do is get you and move along up. Move it out up in the world. Ha. Boy, that'd be a hell of a guy to hire for cleaning your lawn. For mowing your lawn. Hi there, would you like me to mow your squish? What are you doing with that book? It's like uh, the uh, misunderstood spider meme. As I recall, though, that was a jumping spider. Whitsh! Come on, you. Oh, that's going to leave a 
big painful mark. And I'm not going to care. Think I'll save me progress and eat this thing. I wanted to eat this thing, but for some reason it just regarded me as wanting to save my progress, which I did, but... Now the scorpion is following the tarantula. They're both moving into the junkyard, but the tarantula is taking a more top-heavy route. Is this... <laughs> okay, that was actually kind of clever. In case you didn't catch it, uh, there was a s cricketing uh, cr sound coming from this old VC at VCR cassette player. Wow. Music cassettes. Barely remember those. Anyways, there was a cricket song coming from it, and the tarantula walked over the eject button, sending the cricket that actually was calling in the uh, player out. Anybody here old enough? To, anybody else here old enough to remember uh, t tape cassettes? No? Just me? That's terrific. I'm feeling old as fuck. Mm -hmm. I've run out of things to talk about. I'm just sort of staring at... Uh, uh oh, hold on. I saw something up there. Something goes spittery spidery, and now there's black fog here, and hello, mantises. Okay, both of you. Out of my way! Ouch! I said, out! Both of you. Dreadful beasties. Take that, and that, and that. A little surprised he doesn't finish it off with a sting like he does with virtually all of his other opponents. But whatever. I am the- I am Scorpion! God of War! Get over here! Hey, where'd you come from? Oh, Pete's sakes. Why aren't you attacking each other? The Mantis- attacking me and the wolf spiders makes no sense. The wolf spiders being anywhere near a fighting tarantula and a fighting scorpion and praying mantis makes no sense. They should probably head for the hills. Mine. Now as I, now, as I said, we're heading into the junkyard a uh, little lower route. Okay! Baby needs a new eyeball. Don't know exactly what happened at the exact moment that it opened that big boogity eyeball, but whatever. Explore the wasteland and reach the culvert. That's the culvert up ahead, and well, it's uh, not exactly a safe place, but you'll see what I mean later on. You know how earlier on we would take on big swarm areas of enemies, like the Tarantula Hawk Wasp Nest and the Widow's Cathedral? Well,. That wasn't the last time we'd be doing that. We'll leave it at that. By the way, no, it's not what you think, surprisingly enough. This isn't a place where there's uh, mantises or lots of rats. Actually, having an area with lots of rats in the culvert, which is basically a big sewer, would make a whole lot of sense. Nope, I want to go down. Come on, nope, down. I said down. Nope, bad. Come on, just... And yes, all right, all right. The camera worked with me. No, it didn't. But where am I? Oh, oh boy! Oh crap! All right, this is exactly like the scenario with the tarantula. You're gonna have to shake like mad in order to tear through these webs and get out of the reach of these slowly descending black widows. Now, why they don't do one of two thi- Oh no, wait, I've got the wrong command! Oh no, wait! No, please, no! Oh god! Oh god, what a horrible way to die. Hey, I think this is our first death of the game. Continue. Alrighty then. Back here. We're back fighting. This time, we're not gonna make the same scrub that we did last time. Instead, we're gonna be surrounded by pissed off Black Widows, who are probably not too happy that we saw right through their uh, trap and proceeded to wipe them out one at a time. Come on, you. Al on guard! Touché! Calioli! Zoot zoot! Back. Get back, ye bloodthirsty fiends! 
down you go, down you go, and down you go. Oh, uh, you go! Oh, no! Got that one. This one's a Crimson Widow. Bad yet, they go down just as easy as the Black Widows. Uh, you! Haha! <laughs> Haha, <laughs> again. Alright, now in the culvert, we're gonna be wanting to hunt down whatever we can find. Why there's an enormous discarded toilet seat over there is beyond me. Or a big hammer. And. Up we go. Now we're getting into, like the tarantula was, we're getting into somewhat more industrialized areas now, as industrialized as it gets out here anyway. We're going to be making our way back up to the surface now. Now, it never explains why the tarantula or the scorpion have their goals. It doesn't seem to make any sense from a strictly survivalist point of view. Which is why it, uh, it suggested throughout the game that that gold is cursed or something. Whap! Owie! Get back, you bloodthirsty barbarians, you! Now you go one, two, three strikes and the bone scorpions down. Both scorpions have basically the same abilities and powers as your scorpion, but they don't actually have quick time events that would allow them to do that. Now, I think that would be kind of an interesting concept to have the enemy be able to use quick time events to kill you. I mean, they had a similar uh, thing in, in the King Kong video game, where every so often the V-Rex would charge at you and you had to mash buttons in order to get out. But, I never quite like this. This is a spooky-ass cistern. Actually, I remember. Wasn't that uh, wasn't that one of the wasn't that one of the dungeons in Legend of Zelda: Skyward Sword, the ancient cistern? Oh, that goes there. Go them. Now, be very, very quick to hit these things because if you don't, they'll hit back and they'll send you flying off the side and into a bottomless pit of death. So just keep very cautious. <clears throat> Now that we're here, well, I think we got, well, we got one of the wolf spiders out of the way, and a tarantula, ow, a, t a tough tarantula. Take this and that and that. Oh, no. Let's, I just want to use a quick time event on you so I can replenish some health. Is that so hard? No. Come on, you. <laughs> oh boy. I think he's drunk! Ow. I'm trying to use the C button, but... Now here's a, here's an interesting little glitch. For some reason, the, uh... Ow. The tarantulas, the usual, uh, finalizer, which you can use on the Mexican red bean tarantulas out in the desert, for some reason it doesn't work on these white tarantulas. See? It was right an instant away from dying, and he didn't. How terribly inconvenient. Pipes and goo and crap, oh my. Now, the further you go in here, the louder things get. Come on, just a little... Nope, nope. Camera, bad camera, there we go. Now, why is it that the technical hip hiccups in video games always seem to nail them near the end of the game? You never see the tutorial level for a game having enormous technical glitches. That'd be a heck of a thing to see, though, wouldn't it? We're afraid that this game is terribly glitchy, so you won't be able to play it as much as you'd hoped you would. So long, and I hope you didn't pay too much money for it, because otherwise you'd be screwed. Well, that's the end of that, rat. A bit away. Uh, 
There we go. Now we're actually uh, nearing the end of the game, folks. It's only... After this, it's only two more parts. There's ten parts total and one extra part that I'll be showing you off in another video. I didn't mean to do that. So let's dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole. I said dig a hole, dig a hole. <coughs> Make a hole. Oh well, that would have fallen apart soon enough anyway. Now where is out? I didn't get you. Oh swell. Two albino rats, not healthy. I'm actually not sure what happened there. <laughs> it's like, boo, boo, I'm a big scorpion. Beware of my stinging wrath. Just a little more. And yes. No. Down you go. The cistern itself is not all that dangerous. It's sort of like a mini-boss gauntlet. I mean, throughout the game, there have been a number... There actually have been only two bosses, if you'll notice thus far. But some of the enemies are tough enough that you could probably consider them mini-bosses. Now, all of a sudden, you're going up against a long onslaught of them. The bone scorpions, the two bo you notice that? Two bone scorpions, then two wolf spiders and a tarantula, then two rats. Wonder what's gonna happen next. A way out. Hello, cricket. Maximum health increased, very nice. Got another grub. And one more cricket to go. One more. There it goes. So now that those are all gone, we can finally head back up. The cistern is starting to uh, get smaller and more cramped, which means we're nearing the surface. Come on. Wait, how do I get out? I'm lost. Do I get out through? I don't want. I don't want to just fall off the edge. Oh, by the way, <laughs> oh, kind of like that. Kind of like I was about to do. As a matter of fact. Now that that's through, huh? Guess we can get out through this pipe, along with eating the buggies along the way. Thank goodness. Not sure where this pipe is leading us, but it's got to be better than wherever the hell we are right now. Just... Okay, so now we're loading. <laughs> Thank you very much, game. You loaded a pipe. What's this? It appears to be a checkerboard! Worse. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. I think it's a pumping station for the cistern. I don't know. Go. Well, I took down one of them at least. There's the other one. And we'll wipe them out. All of them. Right now. So now that that's been done, we can head around this area and discover all them grubs that are tasty, tasty, tasty. Now, are those Spanish gold coins? Maybe we're not the first people who went hunting for that treasure? Maybe we weren't the first people to find it? Who's to say? I have no idea. Okay. Now that that's been done, we're going to head further in to this part of the pipe. 
Now you can go down there and get some extra points by wiping out all the bugs and beasties and boogaboos that are residing down there. But we're just going to ignore them for now. And why? Because there's, well, there's a more pressing target on our minds right now. Let's head up this way. Is this supposed to still be an industrialized area? Is this supposed to be a pipe? Oh, that's a pipe. Where's the pipe lead? 